A car careened out of control, became airborne, and slammed into a medical building in Washington County. And by the time it came to a stop, one person inside that building was dead. The building, a neighbor health center, is a busy location for people who need to have blood drawn or to be tested for drugs. And that center was filled with people at the time of the crash. Good evening, I'm Stacy Smith. And I'm Susan Copen. That car ended up in the middle of a lab room. Two other people were injured. Amy Wattis is live with more on what happened. Amy. Susan and the coroner just released the name of that victim. She's 57 year old Kimberly Dollard from Washington. Now, if you take a look over my shoulder here, she was sitting behind the wall here. You can see the wall, um, the plywood was placed up here by crews when that car went airborne right through the brick here and uh, pinned her underneath the car. Again, Kimberly Dollard, 57 years old from Washington. Now, witnesses say they saw the car fly down Sharp Avenue when it went in, when it went airborne and crashed into the corner of the building. Now, police say she was helping out a patient at the time of the crash. That patient was flown to a Pittsburgh hospital. The driver of the car was taken to Washington Hospital. Now, police did talk to the driver briefly. The red Jeep he was driving had West Virginia plates on it. Police believe he's from the Weirton area. They say he was here for a doctor appointment. Now, no one else was in the car with the driver when the crash happened. One neighbor that lives nearby says she heard a loud noise but wasn't sure what it was. Sounded like someone hit the pothole on this road really, really hard, like real hard, like a truck. Right now we don't really know uh, whether it was uh, something mechanical with the vehicle, uh, whether it was an intentional act, whether it was uh, uh, a medical issue uh, with the driver and or some type of impairment. Um, so those are questions that we're going to be trying to answer. Now, the hospital uh, is sending surveillance video, the cameras that you're looking at right here, to police so they can piece together everything as far as this crash goes and what exactly happened here. And as you heard Lieutenant Stanick say, they're looking into a lot of different factors and aren't sure whether or not this was intentional. They don't believe it was at this time. The city of Washington police is handling this investigation and state police are helping them out. For now, we are live in Washington tonight. Amy Wattis, KDKA TV News.